Good evening, everybody, and thank you all for tuning in to Soul Work. I'm your host, Jenny Cousins, and we will be taking calls tonight after our commercial break. And I'm just going to give you the phone number here real quick. It's 403-539-6710. And I've made a couple of changes on the show a little earlier. And I have two guests on tonight, and not only that is I have a brand new co-host. And before I introduce my guests, I wanted to introduce my new co-host, Mr. Rick Titan. Hello, everybody. So <laughs> glad to be here. This is amazing. Yes, absolutely. I thought you'd be a nice new fit for the show. <laughs> Loving it. Absolutely. So I invited Rick to come on, and you'll see a lot more of him. Absolutely. And on tonight's show, I absolutely had to have these two guest stars on my show for many reasons, and you will soon see, and I'm sure many people know you already. My new guest for tonight is Michael Briggs and Sir Briggs the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael, for coming on. Pleasure. Jenny, I'd love being here. Oh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. fun. This is fun. This is new. This is an experience. Oh, it, it's great. Mm -hmm. It'll be really good. Uh, you know, you're, you're well known anyways. I mean, self-connection for me, I love it. The energy is absolutely outstanding and amazing and really light. Thank you for saying that. We hear that a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've been in their other stores many times, but I, I love the energy there. That was the intention when it was yes. designed and created, so thank you for that. And you're I used welcome. to go to your first one 15 years ago on North Mount Drive. Wow. Yes, yeah. me too. It goes too. back a little ways. Yes, yeah. we, st we still hear about that location from time to time from some of the pioneers. <laughs> so, yes, we remember it fondly. It yeah. was very different than where we are sure now. It was, yeah. So, <clears throat> yes. Absolutely. So I was going to ask, um, what is your background and how and why did you and your wife get into the book business? <laughs> so I come out of the IT industry, which is a very high-paced, male-dominated, left-brained, yeah. stressful world. Very exciting world, and I did that for many, many, many years, running my own businesses. And uh, during the late 90s, we were coming up to the millennium, and that was a very exciting time. But then after 2000, mm -hmm. it died, and I died along with it. Mm -hmm. I crashed and burned, and... Uh, my wife, who was in the big corporate world downtown, she did the same thing, and she remembers going to work in the morning at 6 o'clock, crying in mm -hmm. tears because she was so stressed. Yeah. So in 2002, Jenny, we both said, that's it, we've had it, it's killing us, we quit. Um, yeah. I was depressed, like clinically depressed, mm -hmm. and we said, we don't know what we're going to do, but we're not doing this anymore. Absolutely. Took a year off, and my wife, who was more the right brain, intuitive <laughs> person in the relationship, Marla. She said during that year, something's coming. There's something I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know what it is. But she said she wanted to help people. Yes. And then at the end of the year, self-connection books came up for sale. It came to us. And it was one of those things that just was so easy. Went click, click, click. She knew that was what it was supposed to be. And we bought the store. And in 2003, we took over. Divine timing. Divine timing, divine guidance, whatever you want to call it, but we know it was meant to be. Yes, <clears throat> absolutely. So a very different world from where we had been, but kind of a neat world. The book industry, very different than where we had been. It is. So with technology and everything, Mike, where do you see the online book world going to with oh. Self-Connection Bookstore? Well, let me just first of all say that the impact of the online world is huge mm -hmm. in the book industry particularly. Everything, Rick, and you're an author, you know this, everything from how books are being written mm -hmm. to how they're being published, how they're being distributed, how they're being sold, how they're being purchased, everything is changing. Yeah. And so as a bookstore today, we have to compete with authors who are selling them directly. We have to compete with our publishers who are selling them directly. We have to try and compete with Amazon, which is hard head-to-head. -head. Mm -hmm. And so bookstores today are either diversifying mm -hmm. or they're closing yeah and there's been lots of those yeah. so for us we had to sit back and look at that and mm -hmm. figure out what's what's our decision and we realized that we're a very specialized bookstore mm -hmm. 
in that we only deal with nonfiction stuff for personal growth, health, and spirituality. And when people come into our store, they come in with a problem. Mm -hmm. They don't come in just looking for a book, although sometimes they do that. They come in saying, I've got a relationship issue, I've just got a job change, a career issue, yeah. I've got a health issue, and they're looking for information. Yeah. And so we realized a while back that we are really more in the information business, the education business, than we are just in the bookstore business. Mm -hmm. And today that's becoming more and more relevant because it's getting tougher and tougher for us to compete at a retail level on just books. In yes. fact, you can't anymore. Yeah. So we are evolving into an education center. Mm -hmm. And so you know because we've built our workshop room where you guys like you can come in and teach Love seminars. It. You Love can rent place. the room and teach yes. your, your information. Um, and we've even gone a couple steps beyond that now where interesting how the world changes and the universe brings yeah. these things around but it's coming back to my skills on the IT side so mm -hmm. now we're doing <laughs> web broadcasting so that you as a as an author or Jenny yes. you as a subject matter expert we can broadcast your message out onto the internet mm -hmm. and the real exciting part is we're now studying and creating video product and teaching all of our authors and, and subject matter experts mm -hmm. how to create video and then sell that online as a way for us to sell mm -hmm. online and a way to help them get their message online. Yeah, because it gets busy in there. Mm -hmm. I, I notice that because I do readings at Self Connection every Saturday. And we love having her. She's <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> oh, thank you. <clears throat> but um, I've noticed that like when you have the workshops and events and stuff, it gets really busy. That was really the original busy. idea, yeah. You know, and it, and it's such a fantastic to have to be able to offer to many different people. So, initially, Jenny, when we designed that workshop room, we hadn't even thought of the the web broadcasting and the video creation. We thought it would be just a great way for people to come in and learn more as another form of education beyond the books. And we said this will be a great way to bring more people into the store. Mm -hmm. And now it's kind of migrated up another level from that, yes. where we're creating all of the education. Mm -hmm. We're capturing what's going on in that room and saying, today, the book is just the printed form of your message. Yeah, mm -hmm. and at the same time, it's so hard to leave your store without buying a book. Oh, I so know. Many great books Jeez. there. Every, you know, and it Don't was funny because <laughs> um, last week, right, my my little tab came to fifty five, fifty five. <laughs> right? Jeez, I wonder if that's significant. I know, I, I know. Jennifer pointed it out. I'm like, oh, wow. Wow. Now, you must, you must share Sir Briggs okay. with, our, with our viewers yeah. about Briggs. Okay, so before I do that, I'm just going to go back to Rick's thing. So, Rick, it, it, it's tough to respond when people come into the store and they say, geez, I hate coming in here. It always costs me so much money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I spend money, I, and I put on the that. shows there. Yes, <laughs> yes. You, you, yeah. and, uh, and some of the people like Jenny come in, and they provide services in the store, yeah. and then they, I'm spending all the rest yes. of the stuff in the store. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, gosh. So Briggs um, yeah. today is our store greeter. Yes. That was his real purpose, but the story behind him is that there's an author whose book we carry in the store. He was a local author at the time, he's not anymore, and his book was called Some Dogs Are Angels. Mm -hmm. And Mark is also a channel, so uh -huh. he is an open channel, he gets messages, he can't stop them. And so we carried his book and we got to know him and his book is all about spirituality mm -hmm. of dogs, of animals, and how some dogs and some animals actually have angel energies in them called avatars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so Mark one day was doing a channeling for me and Marla and said, you're getting a dog. We said, no, we're not getting a dog. <laughs> and he said, I'm telling you right now, you can challenge this, you can argue this if you want, but you're getting a dog. He was so convinced of that because of what he was getting told. He got on an airplane, flew to Germany, back to one of the original breeders, got Briggs, brought him to our doorstep and said, here's your dog. <laughs> Amazing. And it's a little tough at that point to say, Nah. Yeah. Nah. That's don't want him. He's beautiful. Yeah, he's our baby. He's absolutely beautiful. So let's say, for instance, if somebody wanted to come into the store and get some workshops going, events, 
videos. What is the best way for them to do? Um, well, you can certainly, for one thing, see all the events going on from our website, which is selfconnection.ca. We list okay. all the events going on, although some of them are private. But otherwise, just call the yeah. store at okay. the local number and ask for me. And if I'm not there, leave me a message and I will get back to you because if you have some subject matter expertise, I want to talk to you. We're looking for content. We're looking for partnerships. Yes. For people who have stuff we can publish. Absolutely. Uh, Michael, Absolutely. do you have any advice for authors? Yes. <clears throat> And as I started to say there, authors think that the book is the beginning end of their business. Mm -hmm. And today, that is no longer true. The book is just the beginning part. It's just the printed form of the message. So take your book and start building it from there into doing online radio shows, into doing web broadcasting, into doing video, and to getting your message out from the stage. There are so many more ways your book is the door opener today. It's not the business itself. Yeah. Sounds great. But we're just going to take a quick short commercial break. <laughs> and we are going to start taking calls, everybody. So if you have any calls for Michael, please give us a call. <coughs> Rick is very good at answering calls and also myself. So give us a call, Calgary, 403-539-6710. We'll be right back after this message. I'm creative. I am determined. <laughs> I am energetic. I am focused. I am goofy. I am hungry. Close to 900,000 Canadians turn to food banks each month. One third of them are children. These food banks turn to us, Food Banks Canada, for our nation's hungry. Each year, the City of Calgary presents the Calgary Awards to recognize outstanding contributions in our community. Shaw and the City of Calgary invite all Calgarians to recognize fellow citizens, groups, or corporations for their contributions to our city. The award ceremony will be broadcast live on Shaw Channel 10, June 10th at 7.30 p.m. For more information on the Calgary Awards, visit the City of Calgary website or call 311. Shaw TV is a proud sponsor of the Calgary Awards. Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Work. For those of you who are just tuning in, I'm your host Jenny Cousins. And we are officially taking calls now, Calgary. So give us a call, 403-539-6710. And on tonight's show, I have Michael Finch with my new co-host, Rick Titan and Sir Briggs. <laughs> <laughs> and we already have a caller on hold and her name is Jill. Jill? And you have a question for us, Jill. Hi. Hi. Yes, I have. I'm very distraught. My yeah. husband suddenly passed away, so I wanna. I cannot eat. I cannot sleep. I always think he's coming back home. I have a very hard time. So can you give me any advice? What sh What should I do? Um. What What is his first name? Ozzy. Ozzy. Yeah. Um. Did, if you noticed, if you take, a, he's, he's a complete and utter peace. I can feel when somebody passes, if they're struggling or not. And I just really felt that if you look back, even the past two days before he passed, right, he, mm -hmm. he had that feeling. He knew. Sometimes, you know, some of us know that, you know, we're going to soon be passing. Some of us don't know that. But it's almost like he knew that he could feel something. He could feel something wasn't totally right with him. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. And um, he's a very strong soul. He's a very strong person, right? Wow. He has a very strong presence, and he's very much with you. Really? Right? If you, oh, if you light you. some candles, oh, right? thank you. Yeah, if, if he's very much at peace, and he's very much with you. Because you, the day when we came back from the funeral... It was still daylight, and I see like a black cat running through the living room. Mm. I, I don't know what that means, you know? Yeah, they come in all different signs to you, right? If you light some candles, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. Do you light candles, any type of candles? You're going to notice that it could start flickering a little bit differently. That's him. 
Really? And he's, yeah, he, he's very much around you because I feel his presence. He's got a very strong, strong presence with you. So if yeah. you're laying in bed, for instance, and if you kind of feel the, you know how sometimes you might feel the bed kind of move? Mm -hmm. A little bit, that's him. I hear that every day, all day long, all, all night, you know, that's why I cannot sleep, you know. Yeah, I but that's him. That's why I told you about the, the bed moving, because I felt that, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that's him, just letting you know that I'm with you. But and anyway, is he in peace? Is he, you know? Yes. He's, because he's he at was peace. gone in one minute. He's, he's very much at peace, and actually he went very peacefully. I didn't feel any struggle whatsoever when he passed. That's what my kids said, Mom, he didn't suffer, but that's not, you know, still not good for me because it was so fast. Yes, it, it's taking things one day at a time, okay. one day Thank at a you. time. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you you're, very much. You're, you're very Thank welcome. You. Oh, you're very welcome. Yes, my heart goes out, definitely. That's hard. Yeah, it that's is. very hard. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely hard. And um, we, we do have another caller, and it's Shelley. And Shelly, thank you for calling in. Hi. Hi, Shelly. So I was wondering if I've been having uh, many life experiences and I'm kind of questioning what actually is my life purpose here on Earth. Yeah, ev everybody has different life themes and life purposes, why they're here for many, many reasons. Um, you came back to clear a lot of different things in your life. You got to really take a look at just different people that you've had around in your lifetime. You got to clear certain, you got to clear the closet out, as I call it. Whenever there's different people that are going to drag us down, different people that don't support us on a positive level, you really got to take a look at that. Right, so this lifetime for you is all about different clearing and such like that. Things are gonna change for you within the next two months. Okay. Yes, for the better, for the better, but you gotta clear out any of this negativity around you with, with certain people. I'm not gonna name names, yeah. but you already know these people who are around you anyways. It's like you're a cactus, as I call it, where people are holding on to your energy field. And, okay. and you gotta you know, let them go, as I call it, because you can get dragged down because you got a really, really big heart and people can take advantage of you. So will my health also improve as I That's why, that exactly. When you're run down, your health gets run down. So the first thing I take a look at is when my health starts to get run down, okay, who am I giving too much to? Because I have a big heart and I help a lot of people. Mike is the same thing and I know Rick <laughs> is the same thing. So whenever we do that, our health goes down and you have to think of you and you only to move forward this. And I know you could add on that, Rick. Shelly, if you're able to uh, have any kind of connection to, or even Google or find some books on letting go and, and find a space, even if it's contemplation, but I always suggest meditation, to find your space of peace and calm or go to some meditation classes perhaps and be able to go in there and sit there for a while and it will really help you find out your purpose and also where to draw your boundaries so that you'll have the exact right people into your life at that time and also you'll be able to do what Jenny mentioned is to for instance right after my wrestling career I had a lot of really toxic people in my life and I had to cut them all out and it didn't feel yeah. good at the time but it made such a big positive difference yeah. in my life it does um, I will add to that Shelley that uh, in our store today just to give you a little comfort with this one of the biggest topics we see coming up again and again is this whole thing about loving ourselves, taking care of ourselves, our self-esteem, our self-worth, because self our, our self-love, yeah. because mm -hmm. our society today just teaches us exactly the opposite. They mm -hmm. teach us we have to be better, we have to be prettier, we have to be richer, all these things, and so yeah. we're beat up, and so it's, it's hard. It, it's a big topic. Yes, it is. So you gotta take time out for you. This is the yeah. first time that I've, ever done this this year cause, and I made a lot of changes a lot of changes that I needed to right so yeah. so really just you know meditate on that and you'll start to notice like changes you know within the next two months as long as you get on this now right and then new doors will open for you and you'll start attracting more people who are positive and people who respect you for who you are and be gentle on yourself absolutely and thank you for calling I, we already much. have a few other callers on hold right now. And just one day at a time, but do reflection on yourself. Absolutely. You. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And just Bye. a reminder, Calgary, that phone number is 
6710 to give us a call. And our next caller is Pam. Hello, Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi there. How are you? Not too bad, thank you. How are you doing? Excellent. Excellent. And you have a question? Yeah, Jenny. My husband passed away last year, and I've got a house for sale, and I need to know if it's a good time to be selling that house. <laughs> Um, it is actually, um, when you, when you put that energy in there to sell the home, so you got to let go of, of any guilt because I feel you're holding in guilt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't do that because okay. your husband wants you to let that go. Okay. Okay. When we hold on to things, we put blocks in front right. of us. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's relationship, if it's with selling a house, if it's with a job, it's with anything. Blocks don't create anything. So when you surrender to it and say, I'm now ready to make those changes, right, you'll notice that things start to flow a little better for you. And I do know a good realtor too, if you need one, by the way. <laughs> He's actually a very spiritual person, a good friend of mine. <laughs> um, but when you let that go, when you're truly ready, then things will be able to flow your way. But let okay. go of the let go of the of the guilt is the number one thing I'm feeling with you. Okay. And and just really do what's right for you because I know okay. there's other people around you just you know the, the chatter 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 and yeah. what that does is it, it can leave you really unbalanced. Yeah. So you know let that go because you got to think of you what's right for you. But yes, okay. I do feel it's, it it is the right time because your husband does have. Not that it's any importance, but your husband does have somebody else waiting for you in the wings. Is, is he okay? Oh, yeah. What's his first name? Sorry? What's your husband's first name? Fred. Oh, very, very much a piece. Um, it, it's almost like there's a whole, there's a lot of different people around him and he's got a really good sense of humor. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. So he's very, very much around you. Very much. So that's why he's he's saying... You know, let, let the guilt go. Everything is okay. Just do what you feel is right okay. for you, right? So let all these other people go around you. Okay. It's amazing what happens when you can do that, Pam. Yes. It's amazing not just this one issue, but many issues will just fall away for you. It just things can open up. It's all about those energy blocks. As hokey as this may sound sometimes, <laughs> I ask people, I've done this with myself before after a tough situation and trying to let go of some guilt. And I would just say into the mirror, I love you three times every morning mm -hmm. so that I could get my own strength back and believe in myself a little bit more because sometimes we feel like we're doing the wrong thing, but we actually have a knowing that we're doing the right thing. Yes. Rick, you used to pulverize a lot of guys on stage. I don't think you have a lot of guilt, too. <laughs> Probably do, yeah, but it was acting, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You're, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome, Pam, but just hang in there. Okay. Ha hang in there. A lot, of, um, a lot of people left, you know, this year and last year in spirit. Mm. And mm -hmm. um, especially when it's unexpected, like, you know, the lady who called in before with Ozzy, you know, when, when it's their time to go, you know, it just happens. Right, and, and the worst part about it is when it is unexpected because it just throws you off for a loop. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just taking things one day at a time. But I can also see in her case too that it's so easy mm -hmm. to get tied to our stuff. Yes, Because that's what we have left yeah. of that person and yeah. so we can't let that go because we're letting yeah. them go at that point. And, yeah, right. and but that's hard. Yeah, and, it, and, that's, and that's the thing. That's why it's like we, we have to do what's right for us Absolutely. on our on our own comfort zone right Re regardless if it's you know five years later or one day later or one month level you have to do it when the time is right for you okay. mm. so that's why it's like you know there's a lot of different people that you know talk about this and this and that no you shouldn't or yes or no or this right yeah. you got to remember yeah. that this happened to you right mm -hmm. you know not to them I'm yeah. sure it affected them of course you know family and friends yeah. But, you, you know, you, you have to, you know, look inside and say, is this the right thing for me to do? And if you're uncertain, I feel it is. Honestly, I really do. Right. But you have to look inside. Is this the right thing for me? And he'll give you a sign. Just ask, okay. just say, you know, please give me a sign. And Fred will do that. Definitely. Okay. He will do that for you. And he'll come to you a lot more when you're 
when you ask them, a lot of times they'll come to you in dream form. But even with Fred, I feel like he's going to come to you even in a little bit more physical form. He might even move something a little way. Okay. And you're going to know. Like, you're, you're just automatically going to feel it and say, you know, come to me. Give me more of a physical sign to come to me. And they do that. Believe me, they do that. Awesome. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And you'll see. You, you'll, you'll see. Ask now. We're in Mercury retrograde. So if you put send out that energy now, things could really move forward for you in a big way in the fall for the big Mercury retrograde. In the fall. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. So, I really appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. You know, and, it, and it's everybody can relate to that with loss. We've oh, all loved, you know, and, and lost loved ones or friends or pets and and it's it's yeah. hard on everybody well and part of the problem as you started to say there Jenny it, it's not about them anymore it's about us yeah. we're the ones in this yeah, physical human world form yeah. in the physical world dealing yeah. with this they're okay yeah they've moved on and yeah. they want the best for us so yeah. we have to do that searching as you say what's right for me what yes. feels good and and listen to that yes absolutely yeah, yeah. which and is it, hard it, it is and it's it's taking that quiet time because you know, when our minds are so cluttered because, you know, we have so much going on, you know, we're not thinking properly, we're mm -hmm. not thinking clearly, so we're not sure which direction to go. And if we're ADD... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it can speed things up a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> That's you. when they come into self-connection and buy a crystal lamp. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, they do. <laughs> yes, because you have beautiful things. If, if any of you are looking to buy... It, you, you know, jewelry, books, crystal lamps, paintings, well, and statues, crystal statues. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. Crystals Beautiful. are actually becoming a more and more yes. popular thing because people tend to think of, well, it's stone. Mm -hmm. What can that do? Well, yes. stone has energy and stone has yes. vibration and every stone has a different vibration and we can all respond to that. Yes and they have that effect on us, that calming effect. Absolutely. You know, and I want to thank you for coming on the show, Michael. Thank you, you know, it's we're already, already here treat. getting the, you know, wrap up sign here coming to the end here. And, and, and I want to just say how thrilled we are, first of all, to have done workshops with you, Rick. Yes. And to it's a pleasure, yes. have other stuff coming yes. up with you. And Jenny, to have you in the store doing your readings. Oh, it's 